everyone and welcome back to my channel. Quite a few months ago, I actually did a whole video based all around my favorite red lipsticks and today I'm here to bring you the pink and fuchsia version. I'll have that red lipstick video linked down below for you if you want to check it out. It's still really a great video even though it's pretty old and my bedroom's in the background because it does still contain a lot of my favorite red lipsticks. So even though I'm a red lipstick girl and I love some bold lips, fuchsia is my color. I like it even more than red lips, which I can't believe I'm saying, but I feel like in every single video video and even just everyday life I have some form of pink or fuchsia on my lips. So it was really really hard honestly to pick out my favorites and I narrowed it down to seven. I tried five. That didn't work out. But it's all different finishes, formulas, and even high-end and drugstore. So let's hop into the first one. The first one I have to touch on is actually a newer product and this is the L'Oreal Glossy Balm and Pink Me Up. So this is for those of you who like a sheer glossy finish on the lips that's still in that fuchsia family. And in this packaging, it's great. These lip crayons are so, so simple to use and apply. They twist up from the bottom so there's no need for a sharpener and they're great for quick touch-ups on the go. I consider this definitely an everyday fuchsia color. It's very sheer, very glossy, but it still packs some color. It's not one of those super creamy, like super bold formulas though. So you never have to worry about applying this with a mirror. You never have to worry about it traveling all over your face. And I was wearing this the other day at lunch and my mom actually complimented me on it So they're just very very hydrating very very comfortable on the lips and I would highly highly recommend it now moving on to a higher end version That's a little bit in the same family as that one I just spoke of because it's very sheer very hydrating and very glossy on the lips But this is one of my favorites and as soon as I got it like a couple summers ago I swear I just wore it every single day. This is the YSL Rouge Volup Shine and Fuchsia in Excess I consider this one of my holy grail lipsticks. One, because I had waited to get a YSL lipstick for so, so long. They're pretty pricey even for high end, but the formula is like out of this world. Somehow it has that super light moisturizing feel, but it stays put. Obviously these don't last as long as those really creamy opaque formulas, but somehow I just feel like I have color on my lips for so long with these. And maybe it's just because of the ingredients and because it's very high end, but this is definitely in the pink and fuchsia family and it's one of my favorites. So if you've been waiting to pick up a YSL lipstick, I highly, highly suggest this kind or even this line. They have other ones that I'm sure are fantastic as well. But if you like that sheer kind of pink color that's totally great for every day, this is your product. Going to another one of my favorite high-end brands is this Bite Beauty Lipstick in Vignay. This is probably the only one out of the bunch that is more on the neutrally pink side, but this shade is gorgeous. I remember I was actually on YouTube when I discovered this product and I don't even know how I did. I think I just tried it in the store and I I gave one of these away actually for my one year YouTube anniversary. This is a color that's going to look good on absolutely anyone. I swear guys, anyone. And even though this is a really creamy, opaque formula that does pack a lot of color, it's nothing too overwhelmingly bright. And I just had to touch on this because this pairs super well with the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss and Berry Allure. I love this combo and I've actually worn it in a lot of videos. And also I honestly just can't rave about Bite Beauty enough. Their brand is amazing. They're only straight lip products which I love in and of itself and if you want to know more about the brand I'll have my blog post linked down below. Going back to the drugstore now I have another option for you guys that's probably my all-time favorite. I've worn this probably the most out of everything and this is the Revlon Lip Butter and Lollipop. It's what I've been wearing on my lips during this video and I don't know what it is about this color guys but it is downright gorgeous. I only have this much left and I can't even believe it because I don't ever think I've run out of a lip product before but this is a one of two shades that I picked up just straight away when these came out and I could not be happier with it. I have heard that some people don't love this because it does carry a little bit of sparkle but honestly on my lips I don't even notice it just comes off a little bit of like a satin finish on me and also you're only going to notice that when you go to take it off at the end of the night. Your lips might be a little bit sparkly but to me that's not even that big of a deal and also it doesn't feel gritty on the lips at all but this is so opaque for a product like this. It's very very moisturizing, very very comfortable comfortable and it's easy to reapply. With three more to go, I'm going to jump back to my last high-end recommendation and this is the Urban Decay Lipstick in Jilted. To be completely honest, out of all of these, this is the most drying, opaque formula and I don't say drying in a bad way, I'm just saying a lot of these that I'm featuring are very, very moisturizing. 
sorry, Lily is like getting into all this stuff on the table. She's going nuts during this video and I keep trying to film it and I start over and I retake when she makes a loud noise, but I'm just gonna let her do her thing. Sorry for that little rant, but it's not drying. It's just out of all of these, probably the most less moisturizing. I don't know if that was the right combo of words there, but I really do love the color. It's a beautiful, beautiful, almost like iridescent fuchsia and I have seen nothing else like it. I don't know if I'd really recommend this to just an everyday person that's kind of new to lipstick. I'd really just pick one of these up if you're like me and you love lip products and you want to try it because it's not the most comfortable on the lips and I feel like if you're just someone who wants one lipstick to wear every single day this isn't going to be the best option for you but I don't want to make it sound bad because it is a great formula and a great color too and it's really not that bad if you add a chapstick under it and even over top of it just occasionally when you're wearing it but I just can't get past the color and the packaging which is why I wanted to show you. Getting on to this next one this is actually one of the only ones in this kind of lip gloss form and I've heard a lot of just different things about this formula from Revlon but this is the color stay a moisture stain in India intrigue. I personally really really like these and one of my friends Emily over on Instagram actually picked these up because I raved about them and then she really didn't like them because she found them a little bit sticky but this has a doe foot applicator and it's really the color that I love. It's a little bit on the matte side of things but the color is definitely still that pink fuchsia color. Be careful though because if you are in the store and you do swatch these they look horrible in a swatch. I don't know if it's just me user error or what but I swear when I swatched this for the first time on the back of my hand it was super streaky and it wasn't like one solid color so I'm like oh great what did I just buy like I'm gonna hate these but on the lips they're totally different they go on very very smoothly as well and I tend to add about two coats of this and it's so weird because when you first put it on it's a little bit on the cooler side of things but I swear within like a couple minutes it turns into almost like a dark berry color and it's beautiful 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 I think I've said it about every single one of these but I just love 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 this color and fuchsia in general obviously. And last but not least, I had to show you a brand new matte version that I wanted to tell you about because I've been loving it. And really in these videos, I try to give you a little bit of everything. So this is just strictly matte. And this is the new Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Mesmerizing Magenta. This is probably the newest to my collection, honestly, out of all of these because this is a very new line from Maybelline. I'm sure you guys already know that. But I did feature it in a drugstore haul that I'll have linked down below if you haven't seen it already. I just can't get over the color. I love a matte fuchsia lip because I find that I don't find that finish very often in fuchsias, but it's very, very comfortable. It's a matte that's not super overly drying, which I've heard a lot of people say about this line, so that's awesome. Since this is new, I will be taking a photo of it and everything else over in that haul very soon and featuring it over on Instagram in first impressions. I love doing that. I find Instagram such a great platform for that. So if you want to see more info on this and all of those other products, if you did see that drugstore video, then make sure you're following over on Instagram and my links below. So that's all I have for you in this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and please make sure to leave your favorite fuchsias down below in a comment. I obviously don't need more but my heart kind of does and if you guys recommend them I'll be sure to pick them up and tell you what I think. Please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and also make sure to subscribe if you're new around here for new videos every single Thursday and now every other Monday. As always I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!